Hello, I'm Nancy from Black Sheep Knitting here in Needham, Mass. Um, we are a sort of weekly podcast um, that we send out via email. So if you um, are seeing this and someone has directed you to it, but you're not on our email list, give us a shout and we'll, we'll put you on. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. That helps us a great deal. So click on the subscribe button. We'll appreciate it. Uh, today I wanted to, uh, I came across this pattern um, by a favorite designer of mine um, called Melanie Berg, that is her name. And she goes by Maryland, M-A-I-R-L-Y-N-D. Um, you can find her on Ravelry that way. And she, uh, Melanie had breast cancer last year. And um, she has designed this pattern, which I'm now doing, called Pink is for Power. And um, this month, April, she's donating the proceeds from the sale of the pattern to a German breast cancer foundation called Pink Ribbon Deutschlander. Deutschland, um, I think that's what it's called. But I wanted to read you quickly what she had to say. One day I found a strange spot in my breast and shortly after I made an appointment with the doctor to have it checked out. The following weeks were a nightmare, full of fear and uh, uncertainty. Today, after completing my term treatment, I can say that I'm healthy again and looking forward to my new life. In the last months I've learned a lot. Above all, I would like to pass this on to you. You are not alone and you are stronger than you think. I am hoping with this design to raise awareness of breast cancer especially to those younger women who may not be in a screening program. Not to be afraid to examine themselves on a regular basis, as early detection of this disease is so important. Every year at the end of April, every year at the end of April, I will donate the entire monthly income from the sale of this pattern to Pink Ribbon, who do wonderful work in the field of education and support. I am especially happy to have the support of my friend Suzanne from Wool of Fame who dyed this strong pink especially for this project. Thank you. You are not alone and you are stronger than you think. Pink is for power. So I thought it'd be a great idea to do this as a knit along in the shop. And um, what we'd like to do is to ask those of you who are interested to buy her pattern in April and join us. You can join the knit along at any time. We'll meet um, in the shop, or you don't have to, um, on Friday afternoons during our knit along. Um, finish it up Fridays, we're calling it, um, at th from three to five. So you can come in and get questions answered, get support, or just sit and knit with us. If you want to participate, we would ask that you email the shop. I apologize, I have a runny nose. I have bad hay fever for some, or bad allergies, excuse me. Um, so email the shop and say you'd like to participate. You can do that at any point. And what we'll do at, I think the deadline's going to be June 7th, so you have plenty of time uh, to work on this. We will randomly pick um, a finished project, somebody who's finished, and randomly pick, and that person will receive a $50 gift certificate to um, Black Sheep Knitting. So please join us. It will be a lot of fun and support um, breast cancer awareness. I have chosen some yarns. She does this in um, a fingering weight. And I'm actually doing mine in a, because I can never follow rules, I'm doing mine in a DK weight, but knitting it at about six and a half stitches to the inch. So I'm not far off, and I'm doing a little bit one size smaller than I normally would. Uh, this is an interesting construction because it starts with the back and then you end up picking up stitches along the cast on edge and then casting on and picking up more stitches and then this actually will become the front. Um, so it's kind of a, a fun construction. I'm using uh, Sami which is a cotton from Peru and it's the softest most wonderful cotton and it knits up very soft. So again, the front of this has a lace, it's not a difficult uh, lace pattern and 
If you want to learn something about lace, come on Friday and we can help you. Um, we'll help you do it. Um, I wanted to show some yarns that I thought would work. I picked out some pink ones. This is Ultra Wool Fine. And this color is not on here. Interesting. I picked one that doesn't ha even have a price tag. Oops. Um, another one is the Alegria. This one is called um, Princess Pink. This is a beautiful. More on the purpley pink side. And then we have, and we're announcing, and I'm announcing it right now, a huge ship shipment of La Bien Ami. Um, and it's their merino singles. We have 30 colorways. And we have lots, lots, I think we have 300 skeins of this. But this is a really purpley, purple pink called Madeline. I also have one, this is kind of a coral pink from La Bien Ami called Dawn. This is kind of a soft, muted, rosy co rose color. And then I have this sort of wild one called um, Flashy Lipstick. I love this color. Beautiful, beautiful color. I have another one called Julia, if you want to go the variegated speckle route. And this one is called Ichigo. And this is more in the corally family. family. And another, if you're into hot colors, this is called Tang. Isn't that beautiful? And then we have a gray and pink called Grun Pop Grunge. That's a fun one. And then I picked another very summery, lovely one called Tickle with these beautiful turquoisey blues and pinks and then some hot pink speckles. That would be a great one. And then I have some that are not pink that I just randomly chose. This one, because I love this green called Coco, K-O-K-K-O. -K -K -O. I love that color. And then these are just a small, small sample of the many colors we have in La Bien Ami. Um, this one is called Glacier. I just looked like that because I thought it was kind of a springy thing. So those are come in and see in the shop. These will eventually all be online as well. Um, and then I wanted to show you another fun thing we got in the shop. These are merino singles from Manos del Uruguay. This is Fino, is the yarn. It's a single ply fingering weight. And we got several of these. They come in sort of gradients or ones that you could put together. This one's called Alice. And this one is Augusta. So, and I've got some patterns that I'll show you that are ideas for this, but you can always come up with um, ideas for, this is Beatrix. And this one is Lydia. So the possibilities with these are endless. This one is called Flora. These blues and sort of green tones. And Bernadette. Ooh, I like that. Aren't these beautiful together? And I've got a lot of these. This one is called Clarissa. Oh, that soft, soft, soft pink. And Dorothea. A few more. This one I love. Called Sybil. Look at that one with that hot pink. And these are all women's names. Ursula. This yarn is so darn soft. You will just love it. And 
This one is Victoria. And Willa. So the ideas I had for um, sh a shawl for these, this one is called Color Riot. And it's on Ravelry. It's a big, fun shawl. You can make it as long as you want. And you can make, these stripes can be any, any width. Um, you make the shawl and then you, oh, I believe you pick up on the last color, or this from the last color you do the purple. Kind of forgot. But anyway, it's a beautiful, big, drapey shawl. Very fun to wear. And then another one I thought of that um, we've done a couple times called Rock and Rose, R-O-C-K-I-N. And this is a fun one, so you can, those mini skeins would be beautiful for this shawl. So um, that's the, uh, we, we're getting new yarn all the time. We did get a shipment of Madeline Tosh, and we also got of the Ma Madeline Tosh Merino sock, and we also got a shipment of Pashmina. So we have a few colors in the Pashmina over there. It's a beautiful, it's got silk in it. Robin, it's down on the bottom over here to the right. Robin's going to grab them, and I can show you the colors just. These are some of the colors that we got. And the pashmina, if you're not familiar, is superwash, silk, and cashmere. So it's a beautiful um, yarn for a shawl or a nice top. Um, this one is undergrowth. Beautiful tonal. And this one is called siren. Beautiful whiny. Merlot kind of color. And this one is fragrant. This has beautiful tones of corals and pinks and maybe even a little brown. Very pretty. And did I show this one? No, this one's called Tart. It's beautiful red, ready, sort of leaning toward orange. Anyway, those are some new things in the shop. We have lots of summer yarns and lots of summer tops that we're doing. Uh, so come and check it out. Look on our um, website. Um, you can shop. Remember, you can shop in your pajamas, uh, which is a nice thing. So I hope everybody has a great week of knitting. Some um, things to look forward to. We are, we just haven't announced when. We are doing more felting, wet felting workshops, and for those of you who had signed up and missed when we had to cancel and then missed the rescheduled, um, hopefully we'll have some dates there that you can jump in. And um, again, I'm wanting to do, and it, it will come up soon, um, some toe-up uh, sock workshops. And I think we might do um, shorty socks in like a worsted weight so that you can um, get all the basics of making a sock and make it very quickly so you'll see some success quickly and the shorty socks are very popular right now they go right above your ankle I think so anyway thanks for uh, watching and do subscribe we appreciate it have a great week bye